Welcome to the Micro of DevSync. Today is Wednesday, the 17th of November. Yes, and uh, Derek's kicking it off. Go, Derek. All right, so yes, I've been working on a mechanical CAD for essentially all week. And today um, I was essentially spending my time in the audio chamber. Uh, for those of you that have actually seen the um, dev kit audio chamber or the 3d print version you know it was kind of designed to actually be printed as one part but it's totally not moldable so i have to split that up into a front and a back and get all the draft angles right and make sure that the the holes for the mounting of the speaker uh, are in alignment with the, the the draft and the direction of pull of the mold and all that stuff so i um, have to turn it from a 3d designed for 3d printing to designed for injection molding. so um, yep, that's what I've been working on, is getting that audio chamber squared away. Yep, and I'll be, probably continue to work on the cat stuff again tomorrow, so cool, that's cool. it for me. Chris V. Uh, so this morning I did some admin type stuff. I got some PR reviewed for you, Mr. Gesling. Um, and did some stuff with the high on the hiring front with um, the test for the uh, server side developer. And this afternoon, I have been um, working on the startup sequence, specifically um, the Mycroft Ready portion of it. Um, I have some documentation put together in the startup sequence doc, and I pointed to it in Mattermost. So if you all take a look at that and tell me if I'm crazy, that'd be awesome. Um, tomorrow will be more startup sequence stuff. Beautiful. Ken Smith. Okay, so um, I attended the open voice meeting this morning. I reviewed Chris's document. He was just discussing process and device status section. I communicated with Panacore. I'm still working on the debuffs and the statuses. Uh, I suspect they have a bug in their container, so they're investigating that. And uh, right now it looks like I get about three state changes. So I don't know how that's, I'm figuring out how it's going to map into what we're looking for. But uh, yeah, and I'll be continuing to work on that. Beautiful. Um, uh, yes, thanks for the reviews, Chris. I, um, I just pushed some PRs to Micro Skills to put the new DuckDuckGo and Mark II skills into the into the marketplace, so they they will go out onto all devices. But we should also chuck them in that um, in the Mark II branch. Um, the Wolfram. I did a bunch of work on the Wolfram um, skill, just tidying up. Uh, what I'd done and uh, getting the a sort of previously there was two Wolfram clients within the skill um, one if you you know had a local API key and the other if you um, were using Selene um, but then it meant that you know you kind of had to keep, keep the two in sync and, and all that sort of stuff so uh, I, I merged them into one that uh, just changes where it calls based on whether you have an API key local API key defined or not. Um, I have have mostly been testing it using the local API key um, uh, and because I was having trouble with the, the V2 endpoint on Selene and um, I thought it was my code, which, it, you know, there is nothing wrong with the V2 endpoint on Selene. It's just that the, it was originally coded to provide, um, to only take in, uh, an input query. And there's a, a bunch of other parameters that are accepted by the by the Wolfram endpoint that we can use. Um, you know, one of which is like returning JSON instead of XML uh, and that sort of thing. And so I've kind of uh, done the skill based on the assumption that I could use those things, um, which isn't necessarily the case. So. I was thinking about uh, doing some updates to that endpoint um, 
but I also noticed that there was a, a suggestion to change the name of it because currently it's called WA. So then I contemplated, <laughs> yeah, really, really uh, descriptive name there, right? WA. Um, it's the West Australian endpoint. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so then I, I thought well, rather, than, rather than break, yeah, Washington, Washington endpoint. <laughs> Um, rather than break the, you know, do a breaking change on that, um, or writing a bunch of code to like, you know, check if, if, you know, it's in the old format then, or, you know, if it doesn't have any of the new stuff, then use the old format and blah, 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 that maybe we'd just add a new endpoint and call the WA one deprecated or something. And, you know, so if you're, I thought I'd throw that out as an idea and if you're happy with that, I'll, I'll do a PR for that today. Great. Um, yeah, we're not going to use the simple endpoint in the end. Um, I've left it in there just like in the skill as well in case someone wants to use it, but, um, it provides really ugly output. So really detailed, amazing stuff, but, um, just not visually appealing at all. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I've been spending uh, a fair bit of time writing code, so I want to spend um, a fair bit of the rest of the week getting back in um, looking at community PRs and things. All right. Anything else from anyone? Or will we call it a day? Womp womp. Cool. All right. Hey, um, could you stick around for just a second, guys? Can do. All right. Good. Everybody more. Afternoon, good evening, and good night.